Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from March 16th. Well, the week of March 16th. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Um, it helps the channel grow. Um, this might resonate with you, might not. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, Virgo, it looks like... very spiritually in tune right now some of you could be in a marriage or thinking about marriage there's love here love for don't know yourself others let's see let's see what's going on for, for my virgos so what i'm going to do is pull, do two spreads one for love, one for career and finance. But if we get career and finance in the same spread as love, then that's what we have. I, oh. All right, so first card out, King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This, this is a marriage. Typically, he's committed with children, or married with children. Um entrepreneur very influential knows a lot of people a lot of people know him he helps people the two of wands okay and the four of wands so some of you may be at a crossroads in this marriage something brought about the crossroads an active cross like I'm deciding I'm moving towards either the past or the familiar or the unfamiliar some of you could be deciding to move homes too like you're gonna move your home yeah temperance definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius you're trying to compromise you're trying to someone wants to salvage their relationship but you guys are at a, this person that across wrote you're at a cross seven of cups okay so it looks like okay these cards should be reverse shuffle it looks like we have a situation where there is someone who wants to restore rekindle renew family life home life because they're on the brink of losing it with you Virgo because they're they have been or they are a cheater they have been unfaithful in this relationship in this marriage um, they've kept the door open on several different options several different people but now they want to reestablish what you guys have yeah three of swords Virgo or yeah Virgo is at a place of we're either divorcing or separating. Let's see. Somebody's hurt. Someone wants forgiveness. It looks like Virgo wants to forgive themselves for maybe putting themselves in the predicament where they um, are dealing with this this type of person, type of personality, a knight of swords. Virgo may be saying, "I want a, a divorce. We need to separate." Virgo coming up the magician Virgo has had this idea of divorce and separation for a while yep oh jeez two of swords and the seven of wands and like Virgo is no longer fighting for this relationship this marriage they're in a stalemate in regards to making this decision like an actual physical decision like going and filing papers but yeah Virgo is saying I'm tired. Queen of Swords. Typically, a Virgo woman comes up as the Queen of Swords. Somebody's upset with um. This is Sag. Also, Nine of Wands. Someone who kept options open. They may even have another person here. Virgo is saying, "Are you in or are you out? I need to know the truth. I'm okay with your decision because I've made mine." Yeah. Virgo is waiting for 
the other shoe to drop for this person to hang themselves they're waiting for another piece of something piece of evidence piece of yeah they're waiting to cut this person off bring them the truth and clarity of what they know and uh, and divide themselves from this yeah princess of sorts yeah that Virgo's gonna tell somebody I've been spying on y'all I got a private eye I got this I got that I know the five of swords yeah interference someone let another party interfere in what Virgo had or what Virgo has with another somebody this is interference this is this could be third party this could be maybe a fire sign air sign was getting a lot of attention maybe even having a lot of sex what's the best course of advice for Virgo and it could be reversed also um, Virgo could be doing this what's the best course of advice for Virgo what's the best course of action for Virgo Ten of Swords. Let it be the end if it's the end. You know, don't try to revive it, re revamp it if it's the. I don't feel like this is the first time you've been here with this person. C be concerned about your own health, wealth, and happiness. Go in a new direction that provides you a lot of, vi you know, vitality, um, happiness. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Um, get your recognition elsewhere maybe amongst siblings family friends somebody's been telling you anyway the best course of action here is to just be around like-minded people there's you virgo you could be a mother it says create something a different dynamic relationship job business elsewhere the hangman again um the best course of action is just to wait for this person to When you find out that this person has been cheating, it's going to be final. And you're going to have all of the evidence here also that this person has been holding maybe an affair for a very long time. And then that other piece of evidence comes in and, and then you, you have what you need to move on. What's the um, advice, advice for Virgo? Personal advice. You're not stuck. Come out of being stuck. Get out of your head. Establish something else elsewhere. You you may have options too. Or if not options, um, you know what you want. You fantasize about it, about having it maybe with someone else. Yeah, reach out to somebody you've been keeping on the back burner or leave behind this partnership that is no longer feeding you. You're no longer getting what you want. Make plans for the future here. So, yeah. Make plans for the future um, with like minded individuals. Get under some different routine and regimen for your life to establish what it is you really want. Maybe even outside of a relationship. Yeah. It says go in a new direction. Okay. Um, evaluate what's best for you what fits for you what's healthy for you because you know some of you you might even have a person it could be Pisces or Aquarius someone you've been keeping company with that, but you left them out in the cold because I, I think you chose your marriage or something so you might want to reach out to this person. All right, so let's get some angel answers in here and see what's going on. And see what, you know, let's close it out. I mean, all of the readings have been just like, I'm done. I'm leaving. I got some money else. Uh, it's lots of energy. Success. Very nice. Uh, maybe you'll successfully get out of this compromise. Peaceful resolution. Didn't I say that? You're going to get a peaceful resolution here. Um, meditation brings answers. Ask for help from others. The bottom of the deck. 
we have a no answer okay so you know we clarify our yes and no answers here at the channel so let's see what this is about what is this no answer for virgo what's this no answer king of swords nine of cups you, you are you wishing and hoping for an aquarius or libra somebody that you're not in contact with the moon ten of cups but you got deep feelings for this person but what's the no answer are they not wanting Virgo? okay five of wands in reverse no they're not dating other people or keeping other energy around they might be waiting for you yeah knight of pentacles um if you want to be with this person be committed honor that don't make them a rebound or don't feed false hope it says go in a new direction with this person this is aries aquarius Since you're going to have to put down a burden that could be your husband or someone you're committed to. You have two real options here. Okay. Virgo, if the reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the coupon codes below in the description box. Also, if you have a question or a, you can text the number below. Uh, pay for your question on your mobile device. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Um, take advantage of a personal reading over at the website. The link is below. Thank you, Virgo. Take care.